as we continue to tumble into the age of AI. New innovations pose new questions about our place in the world, our purpose, and what have to offer. In this new world of AI, humanoids have already taken the place of human beings in every sector, but are they really better than humans? And what makes female humanoids even more interesting for people today? Let's talk about it. Hi and welcome to AI World News. Today we will be speaking about Top 5 Female Robots of 2022. Please watch the video to find out all the details, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification. Robots come in many shapes and sizes, but perhaps the most intriguing, endearing, and acceptable are the ones that resemble us, humans. So let's reveal some of the most amazing humanoids developed to date and special features they have. I duh. Not knowing if the invention of an artist robot could even be possible, Aiden Meller, an independent designer and art director, owes the existence of Ida, the world's first ultra-realistic robot, named after computing pioneer Ada Lovelace, to the science of speed. In collaboration with a group of groundbreaking art and technology experts, Meller takes pride in Ida's variety of talents. The robot's arms, for example, have been created in collaboration with University of Leeds, undergraduate students Salah Heldon Alad and Ziad Abbas. Both students created Ida's drawing arm and developed AI algorithms used by Ida to create human drawings. Complementing Ida's ability to draw is the robot's language capabilities. According to Meller, Ida can generate unique replies far more complex than the Amazon Alexa device. Ida's realistic features are further brought to life via the incorporation of a silicone face. Designed by researcher Lucy Seal, digital artist Alex Kafusius, and 3D designer Tim Millward, the features, movement, and gestures that Ida is intended to perform bring up questions about human identity in a digital age. By 2025, significant sections of society will change due to AI. People will no longer be going to a doctor, but to an app instead. Thanks to AI, apps will be more accurate than a doctor's medical advice. Aiden Meller tells The New Era when asked what the future holds for humanoid robots. So far, Ida has been showcased in a number of exhibitions, including the recent Dante, invention of celebrity at the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford. At the time of the exhibition's opening in September 2021, Ida recited poetry in response to Don's Divine Comedy, an Italian narrative poem by Dante Alighieri, known to be one of the most gifted writers of ancient European medieval times. Furthermore, looking towards the future, Ida has entered a relatively new phenomenon, the metaverse, described as an online space where people can socialize, work and play as avatars. Ida has contributed towards the metaverse by helping gild a 24 carats gold fossilized wooden metaverse egg, also known as the imperious egg. It looks like the future no longer lies decades from now, the future is now. Actroid Actroid is a type of android strong visual human likeness developed by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Lud. It was first unveiled at the 2003 International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan, and several different versions of the product have been produced since then. In most cases, the robot's appearance has been modeled after an average young woman of Japanese descent. The Atroid Woman is a pioneer example of a real machine similar to imagined machines, called by the science fiction terms android or genoid, so far used only for fictional robots. This means that her 18 gestures, like pointing or waving, adapt to the location of the speaker, making the person feel like the robot is really paying attention to him or her. So even though talking with the actroid is still far from a natural conversation, the researchers say this improvement makes a big difference in how people perceive the robot. Participants called the android more friendly, sensitive, sophisticated, and warm when the new gesturing system was used compared to a normal gesturing approach. Sophia Sophia is a social humanoid robot developed by the Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics and was activated on February 14, 2016. She is the first humanoid to get Saudi Arabian citizenship in 2017. In fact, in the same year, Sophia was named the United Nations Development Program's first innovation champion and is the first non-human to be given a United Nations title. Sophia has a computer vision algorithm that processes input from cameras within her eyes 
giving her visual information on its surroundings. This vision system can follow faces, sustain eye contact, and recognize individuals. Apart from that, it can process speech and have conversations using a natural language subsystem. In January 2018, Sophia was upgraded with functional legs and she was able to walk like a human. Now she has real lifelike skin and can emulate more than 60 facial expressions. Building a robot that could think like a human is not as simple as Sophia, but if technology improves then, there is still more to come in the future. Ben Gortzel, the scientist behind the creation of Sophia, stated in response to a tweet of Facebook's director of artificial intelligence, Jan Lakin, he had never pretended Sophia was close to human-level intelligence. Gortzel's response to the tweet signifies that Sophia is not close to human intelligence, even with AGI. However, if technology improves and if it becomes possible to create consciousness in a computer, then a humanoid with such a conscious computer would become the most helpful companion of every human. HRP4C Japan's entertaining robot that sings and looks like a beautiful young female is finally learning how to walk just like a beautiful girl. Well, almost. Robotics developers at the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology have released a video of their HRP4C meme robot to show how it can walk better than before. HRP4C has 30 motors in its body that allow it to walk and move its arms, and 8 motors on its face to create human expressions. The robot is based on user-centered robot open architecture utilizing fundamental robotic technologies, including real-time Linux, RT middleware, robot simulator OpenHRP3, and speech recognition. AIS2 researchers, like other scientific groups dedicated to robotics, have been working hard to create the perfect walking robot and to design walking technologies that can make their robots most closely resemble the way humans walk. But this has not been easy. Developing a robot to walk like a human has been a challenge for engineers, but that has only motivated more work toward this end in robotics. Curiously, while some tech sites have highly praised the team for having succeeded in making HRP4C meme walk like a human being, the video showing meme walking resembles a woman who has just been released from a long stay in hospital from suffering broken bones and must learn to walk normally again in broad daylight without crutches. Still, Mime's new walking abilities are a step up, less mechanical than before. At the least, this is seen as a promising building block upon which to improve in the coming months and years. Ameka Typically, an AI lives inside a computer system, constrained inside the digital realm. However, a company called Engineered Arts has developed what it calls an AB, or artificial body, that will give an AI a physical place to reside, and it is called Ameka. The Ameka humanoid robot is designed to work with humans and provide relatable natural human gestures. It's designed with upgradable modular mechanics and can be controlled via a cloud-managed API dev kit. The company says its robot has groundbreaking advances in movement and natural gestures, intelligent interaction, and provides a future-proof software system. Engineered Arts also says that its API offers customization pathways that weren't available previously. Ameka's hardware provides lifelike motion and advanced facial expression capability. When humans communicate, we do so with more than words, with much of our communication made through body language and facial expression. Without these indicators, it can be difficult for an individual to interpret intent. Therefore, Ameka's motions were designed keeping in view the real human-like gestures during interaction. Adding to this, while the robot is humanoid, it's not able to walk. Engineered Arts says that significant hurdles have to be overcome to allow the robot to walk, but it has been researching that. So far, it's been unable to create a fully walking humanoid robot, is when the technology to allow the robot to walk is developed. Robots can be upgraded. Furthermore, the company says the main purpose of Amica is as a platform for developing artificial intelligence. The company is mostly focused on developing robotic hardware and says that it's leaving researchers working with its platform to create artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms for their hardware. Since the robot is cloud-connected, if something goes wrong, engineers can remotely connect to it to diagnose problems, and often problems can be fixed remotely. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, 
and ring the notification bell. And thank you for watching.